Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we, go, we are going to be creating um, a simple countdown to redirect. So what I mean uh, by a countdown to redirect is if you've ever visited a website that counts down a particular amount of seconds um, using JavaScript um, and doesn't actually refresh a page, you'll have seen um, it count down from obviously a particular number. When it reaches one, it will either say present you with a downloadable file or it might go ahead and redirect you to another page altogether. So in this tutorial, we're gonna look at how we can do that dynamically on a page, obviously without refreshing the page because we're gonna be using jQuery. Now, first of all, I have obviously gone ahead and included jQuery uh, on this page, on my index.php page. And I've also included this counter.js external JavaScript file. And this is where we're gonna be writing the function and also the uh, calling of this particular function. And what the function is going to do is it's going to set a, an interval of one second and every one second we are going to set a particular div on the page to the number that we have specified when we called the function. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a div area on the page that's going to handle the, the uh, number for the countdown. Now if you wanted to use this inline you're probably better to go ahead and use span. Uh, I guess a span tag would be uh, appropriate for this as well so it doesn't really matter what you use the important thing is the ID that you give it and I'm just going to call this counter so we're going to be uh, popping a number in here first of all so for example 10 whichever number the user specifies uh, when they call the function then it's going to show 9, 8, 7 all the way down to 1 and then the whole page is going to redirect uh, and we're going to specify the URL in the in the function that we call as well and we're going to allow our function to take two parameters the first one being the number of seconds to count down from and the second being the uh, URL that we're going to redirect the user to so once we've got this span or div or even paragraph set up on the page wherever you'd like to place the number that's going to be counting down we can go ahead and start to define our function now our function is going to be called counter, so we uh, use the function keyword and counter, and we give that a block. Uh, inside counter we want to take two parameters, and the first one is time, so the amount of seconds we want to count down from, and the second is the URL that we want to redirect to. Now this could either be a file, uh, a web page, anything really, as long as it's a valid URL. So underneath here, we want to go ahead and actually call this function before we start to define it. Um, it's probably good practice to go ahead and, do, and call a function and then outline the function contents so you can constantly come and test it in your browser. So we are going to uh, activate this uh, when the document is ready. So we use the document selector and then we use the ready event handler. Inside of this, we want to go ahead and create a function and this will just be uh, everything that happens in here uh, when the document is ready and it's loaded. So we want to call this counter function. And we want to go ahead and define some parameters that we want to pass to our function up here. Um, and then we know uh, how we can handle it. So for example, I might want to count down from 10 seconds. And then I comma separate this for the uh, next parameter, which is the URL. So I'm going to type in uh, google.co.uk. So essentially what we're doing here is when the document is loaded, we are uh, calling our counter function, which we've just defined up here. We are specifying a countdown from 10 seconds and we are redirecting to google.co.uk uh, when we've actually counted down and when the counter is at one or yeah, when it's at one. Okay, so inside our counter function, we need to start to build this functionality now. You'll see that on the page, nothing's happening. We've called this counter function, but obviously we haven't written the code for it yet, uh, so nothing's going to happen. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is set an interval. Now, usually you would set an interval here, uh, and inside of here, you would create a function like this. Now, this isn't jQuery code. It's actually uh, just uh, original JavaScript code uh, so we're not really using jQuery to set the interval um, but it's uh, there's no jQuery alternative I believe um, delay is obviously not a uh, replacement for set interval and then we define an amount of sec uh, or milliseconds so a thousand being one second 
Okay, so um, now what we want to do is uh, not just use this set interval function or on its own. We want to go ahead and assign this to a variable. So once we uh, have finished the amount of time, we want to redirect uh, the user but clear the interval as well. So we just say var interval equals set interval. Now this interval variable here now holds this interval function and what that means is we can go ahead and clear the interval by referencing the interval variable. It's extremely important if you're using set interval on a page that um, you're not redirecting a user. In this case it doesn't really matter because we're redirecting the user to a different website. However, if you are using uh, interval frequently, it's important to note that it's always good to set it in a variable so you can use the clear interval function a bit later on. So now we've set up a variable called interval that holds an interval here uh, that, that essentially works every second. So all the code inside here will run every second. And we can test this just by say, um, I don't know, we could go ahead and uh, pop a value inside counter. So let's go ahead and just test that our interval is working. We're going to use a hash selector to select our counter uh, element. And then we're just going to go ahead and I could say append uh, A, for example. So now what's going to happen, every one second uh, with this interval, we are going to append the value A to our counter uh, span. So let's go ahead and test that. 